so okay. Okay. Last time I got that fixed, all the wires. What what is it? Is it that a doorbell? We can have um um. Okay. Stop. Okay. That light get it fixed. The light, the wires. What I was told by Omer Nelson. Yep. That all the wires are laying on top of the of the tile. Hung ceiling. Yep. And that it is just a fire waiting to happen. Okay. So. Throughout this the whole section. Okay. Okay. Um, these windows. If you look at them, you can hardly heat the front of the shop in the winter. Okay. okay. Um, totally, totally. So this this sign is currently inoperative because of the wiring. Okay. All right. Let's go back in. Is there anything else out here? No, there's a lot more out here, but plugs. Okay. Plugs. Where are we? Is that one, that one's over there in the corner over there? That's, that one in the, in the bottom? Yeah, there's one there. Well, but by code, they should be every four feet, so. Right. There are that's, none. There yeah. are none here. Okay. There are absolutely. Um, fire flooring. If we're going too fast, Gina, just let us know too. This is the bathroom. It is also the only inside entrance to the basement. Building has junction boxes like that, half regular wire, half ship, hanging wires. The stairs are are so dangerous that I do not let employees go down there, even though we do have to store stuff down there. Okay. Have you been down in the basement? Yes, How about if we make yeah. a trip down there? We certainly can. You brought us down here before, but I didn't get any pictures. So you just point and Gina take some pictures. I am too, but the more uh pictures we get the of course the oh, better and the bats come in over there in that corner. Okay. Watch your step. Okay. This is the only part that's maybe semi dry. God knows what's in there. That's what the part where this is where our our entire network for our computer comes down. Okay. It's located right by the hot water here. We have not one junction box, but we have this is the one that runs the coolers. Oh, I see a bunch of wires coming down to it. Mm -hmm. Grab a couple of them, you just sneak around here. Okay, I'll let you get out ahead of me so you can
Oh, okay. Oh, there's storage in here. All right. Okay. And you're just here. You're just showing uh, uh, this is their okay. storage. Okay, lovely. This is the uh, this is the and um, this is the outside entrance to the to the basement. Okay. Can we sneak out this way or no? No, uh, it's locked. Okay. Show your own welcome. Oops, wrong light. Um, steps are the wrong rise. Therefore, I don't know if you've ever walked up and down steps that are wrong rise. Um. They're very hard to walk up and down. Do you know what I mean by the rise? Uh, well, they should, uh, what, 812? Uh, They're not. Okay, see if They're you can not. make sure you get a picture of those two ladies. Yeah. My flash is working for nothing, so. Okay. <coughs> This is supposedly this station. It has a cryptic message on, on it that says, "Don't do this, don't do that, don't, don't do that, don't do this." <laughs> is there a light back here? Yeah, it's for a cell phone. Oh, oh, okay. Problem. There, there are no lights down here. There, there, there never were. Okay. Um, Anything else down here, ma'am? Okay. Eh, well, <laughs> for all of us. Make a note note to the, to the toilet. What you say it's leaking around the the. It's leaking. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's not, I, I can normally can fix toilets. It's, not, it's, it's splashing water up and outside of it. Isn't that because of the sewer problem with the city? I could be. I don't know. Yeah, because they have had issues on this block. Good. Okay. We can find out for sure. That's one we can handle without having an electrician. One of our guys can certainly do that. That's something we can do too, Gina. The stairs, she just mentioned them. Um, they're very, very loose. The parking lot is probably several years ago. There was something on here that was cracking. Now we're down to sand that is delivering. If you sand on your shoes, you're going to fall down. Th this is something too that we can address this, not this week, but next week. We have a guy, Kenny, coming up, partner. We can uh, put some crushed gravel in here, uh, crushed granite. Um, you just leave me a note to call him, because I'll add this, th this wouldn't be bad. What I'm going to do on this is call you a couple days ahead of time and say, please can you have your stuff out of the way? He'll come here within a matter of an hour, and uh, this will be nice. Yeah, I can, th this is an easy fix. Yep. I have ended up having to be the dumpster for this whole entire block, or except for, for these four buildings. Okay. And what has happened is we're ending up with everybody else don't get that too. Call your garbage company and put a lock on it. That's what we've had to do on some of ours. I uh, can put a lock on it, but I don't think you understand how how awful that's going to be for us. 
I'm just saying it. Oh. Yeah, these because these because we dump garbage a lot. Right. Yeah. Sure. Or just lock it there. Yeah. Just, I know it's a pain, but we have to do that at apartments. It's not that hard. No, it's all set up for a lot. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I mean, I know it is a pain, but if you want to keep that juice to your employees, you the other thing that's hand. happened here is that this has become we're just it's, we're just waiting for somebody because of the, because of the way that they've done the streets, we're just waiting for somebody to snack on the because there's no I there's no way to back out of here. Oh, and see, has somebody see who's coming? I suppose. Now, because they took all this out of here, it's just a total wind tunnel up here. Oh, yeah. To, if you can imagine, there's flowers right now. Okay, and it's only. Horseshit storage. Okay. Um, this is not the way you would set up a flower shop. All right. And but I'm paying the same rent, supposedly, mm -hmm. as they are next door. At 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 the historical society. I'm sure you've been in that building. The entire basement is completely finished off for offices. The the main floor is safe. Um, there's decent flooring. There's decent lighting. Um, the same as the hair shop. Um, same thing goes there. There, they have a lot more space. They have a, they have a decent. Now they've done some of the work, and, mm -hmm. and I have to say, this. You're also looking at improvements that don't look like improvements, but we made them. Okay. There was no sink here before. Okay. We put that in. There was no air conditioner here. We put that in. Okay. We carpeted the front. Um, we painted all the floors. I mean, it looks like shit now, but you should have seen it before. How have you been here? 2004, 2005. Okay. The, none of these walls have ever been painted. There is actual peeling paint behind my workstation that I'm sure goes down to um, lead-based paint. There's okay. actually lead, I'll show you where there's lead-based paint falling off. And of course, lovely, lovely cord. Okay. These lights should be for, to, to have a workroom, if you're going to have a workroom in a flower shop, they should be four. Correct. Four bulbs? Four bulbs. That's true. Okay. Because then we end up with this, which obviously doesn't need code whatsoever. Okay. There's no ventilation, and um, there's no ventilation. There's no way to suck anything out of here. If you spray with any kind of a which this is a common thing we use every single day. There's no ventilation. Unless we open that back door and leave the door open and open the front door. That's that's our entire ventilation system. Excuse me. <coughs> and then as we looked at the parking, there is also because of what happened with that Menard Park or what I don't even know the name of that park. Okay. Um, there is no longer parking for employees. Okay. So it used to be that wasn't an issue. Now when employees come to work, they're having to fight for a spot. Sure, absolutely. I fight for, my, my, my van is the blue van. We fight for spots back there with the historical society. Um, we've gotten ticketed. You know, it's... Kind of a mess. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, a couple things I see. Um, Absolutely, we can get Omer Nelson in here to uh, give us, um, what would you call it, an assessment of what would need to be done 
to bring the wiring um, online and uh, I don't have a problem with that. The, the back parking lot we can fix. We can then try to address some of the issues with parking with the city. I don't know how far we'll get, but we can certainly well, try. Well, the other problem is with parking is, is that uh, I don't know if you guys ended up with New Horizons across the street or not. Not as, Well, not to my knowledge. Not to our company. Okay. New Horizons is one of the biggest problems downtown on this end of town. They come, they, they park, they park in front, and they <laughs> will park there for six hours at a time. Okay. And, you know, the city, I know the city only has somebody a couple days a week that goes around. And so, you know, I used to have a nice little sign that said, please don't park here. Sure. Please, please, please leave this for customers. Yeah, I said that to you before, didn't you? Because uh, you can do 15-minute parking like you do at uh, Super H. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know who's going to approach us that immediately? It's going to be the other landlord over here, Lynn. And she's right because her, her care customers are there longer than 15 minutes. So when I, I mean, just right in front. She's still gonna protest it. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, I I thought of that, I thought of that a long time ago, um, and that is a number one customer complaint is we cannot find a place to park in front of your business. Okay. Well, it's something we can certainly uh, we have a relationship with the mayor. At least we've had some chats with him, and he seemed to be receptive to do things that he can do to help. Um, but. Um, you have a kind of a genius at a list now. I think of everything that, that needs to be addressed. Um, the last time we were here, you took me in the cooler for some reason. Oh yeah, there, there we go. Okay. No, I just I, I forget there was a water that. leak in here, and I didn't know. Oh, yeah. That's okay. the other thing. Oh. Is according to according to I can't figure out who really actually owns the cooler. Uh, would, yeah, uh, you'd have to um, look at your purchase agreement or, or land contract. Usually trade fixtures, usually... This isn't movable. Um, okay. It's connected. It's not movable. That's, that's very that interesting. That one's movable. That one's not. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not a movable fixture. All right. Okay, well... Um, Again, uh, things we can. Work? Sort of. What is it? It's an old refrigerator. Well, okay. It's not an old refrigerator. It's a door. It's a door. It's a cooler back there. It's all wood inside. You don't want a wooden. You don't want a wooden cooler or to use a wooden cooler because it uh, emits eth anything with wood emits ethyl and gas, which is toxic to the plants. Okay. okay. All right. We only use it very limited, uh, for very limited use, and it's basically what happened to me, but that's exactly what it'll do. Okay. Well, we'll we'll take this stuff back, um, and I don't have a problem calling Omer and Elson out here. Uh, they're pretty quick, right? The only oh other yeah. stuff they did. Uh, we can have Randy fix the toilet. In the back steps, which can be done quite quickly, the we have a guy that's coming up, um, partner excavated. He's doing a bunch of other work for us. That that can be done next week. Okay. So, um, anything else? Well, we're. I'm a little brain dead. My dog was up all night. Sick. So my I have a dog. I have a Labrador that oh decided, no. decided that she didn't want to get into some potatoes that I threw out in the garbage. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to laugh. But you can laugh. It's no, well, it happened to us last week. Our dog got in. Yeah, 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 we all I have the animals, stories. I have animals, I have animals. <laughs> dog and three cats, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, the only problem is, is the potatoes can kill a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, one, it's on that list of things that if they eat them, they're toxic, they can blow they? from them. And they can, oh, yeah. Geez. So my goal is to get home and at least watch her for part of the day because that's not going to happen very well. So. All right. Yeah. Well, now in terms of payment, you'd mentioned you wanted to do something about that today, too? I will, I'll be in touch with you later today about that. How's that work? Okay. Um, That's we fine. Will, we will get caught up here somehow. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would take that piece of paper that you served on me and tell the court that we've come to an agreement. Well, here's what I did. I don't know if there's going to be an agreement. I sent a, 
an email out to the folks I work for, um, and we have to make sure that whatever we do uh, becomes binding. Okay. So if we say, um, say another five hundred dollars, whatever, whatever it might be, okay. it can't be just any more. Uh, hey. So you're going to come with a proposal to me? Uh, well, uh, there was a gentleman who called me. I'm going to forget his name. Maybe you could help me. He's out of L.A. You have a deck consultant you're working with? Uh, yeah, I just talked to him a couple times. Okay, well, he had called me and, and said he would. He wants to call me after our meeting today okay. and discuss um, payment arrangements. Okay. Well, what my problem is today I'm going to be in and out a lot. I've got to deliver a wedding in Bayfield. I'm supposed to be in Odina right now. I've got a few notes. Well, then let me ask you real so quick. So I'm going to be in and out a lot. The, 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 the real question. First, th first thing in the morning would be better. Okay, and I can call you tomorrow. And maybe you need to think about this, but one of the things that he had proposed is I think the rent's 575 and mm -hmm. it, uh, give or take, if um, you'd pay another 500 on top of that for a year, roughly 6000 I think you owe 5800 mm -hmm. Can you swing that? Now you don't have to, you know, that's something you think about till tomorrow morning. Okay. But that's something if you and I are going to say. Is that agreeable with you? Because when I proposed well, it's, that it's before, agreeable. it wasn't agreeable. Uh, what's that? I proposed that before and it wasn't agreeable. Um, I don't remember that. You might be right. Um, I need to take it back to the folks that, you know, I'm a management company. I'm an agent for an owner. I'll take it back to the owner. Right. And it would uh, be interesting to know, um, one of the reasons I stopped the payment was because I didn't, I got very mixed messages who I was even supposed to be paying Okay. I was told by Martinsons to pay them. I was told by I was told by the bank to pay them. I was told by you to pay them, and okay. it's like I'm a little confused. Okay. All right. Well, and I don't have time to sit down and pen a letter and send every letter off um, registered mail. Okay. Um, so r again, right now you'd want me to say uh, $500 a month for the next year. Is is that something you can do? That's more than likely something. Okay, and when we when and I have to figure out a little bit more on the legal ease on how this works, um, but we'd have to go to a judge on Monday and say we reached an agreement, Your Honor. Um, the floral shop agrees to pay another five hundred dollars a month. You know, you couldn't even read on that who who the lawyer was, or I would have called the lawyer. You couldn't even read that sheet on that sheet of paper who the lo local lawyer was. There was no bar listed, bar number listed. There was no law firm listed. Oh, and, and again, in small claims, you don't need one. We don't usually use an attorney until we go to court. Okay. So usually, in, in again, in the state of Wisconsin, you go to court, uh, and everybody either agrees or disagrees, and then mm -hmm. you go to mediation, and then you go to trial. Mm -hmm. We don't use an, uh, an attorney until we go to trial. Okay. So, um, all right. So the the game plan is five hundred dollars a month for a year. Somehow we'll make that binding by having a, an agreement filed through the court. Okay. Uh, and I just have to figure out how to do that. I don't know. Okay. Um, so that it would be binding more than, a, again, more than just a handshake. I also need some binding agreements that some of this stuff is going to be fixed. Okay. Um, from my end. Well, let's do this. Tomorrow morning, uh, after 8 and before 11, I'll call you. Okay. Then we'll, we'll both know, and I can come up with some more answers, because uh, it, I don't see a problem with anything you would, you would mention. They're all pretty much contractors. Uh, Omar will come in here and it sounds like he already knows the building. That makes me comfortable because mm -hmm. he, do, he doesn't have to relearn things. Um, it's also the one who said the place should burn down at any point in time. got to remember that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, I will talk to you then tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Mm -hmm.